Hello guys, what's up? I'm Topic Rahman. Welcome to my programming channel. And you see, this is tutorial app with quiz, one of my items on Code Canyon. Hope that you have already purchased it. And here are the description, the feature list, and at the bottom of it, you can see the document link. I have already opened it here, and I have already shown you how can you change the content, app icon, app name etc and as part of documentation video tutorial today i'm going to show you how can you configure the push notification here are the guidelines open this link on your browser and then you need to add a project so here is our firebase console it is loading at first you need to register your app download the google services json and configure your app module app module and then you need to send push notification from console so let's see all of them one by one our page is loaded and you can uh, create a new project or you can add your app on uh, existing project this is the project i have already created so I'm going to add my app here. This is the option, add another app. I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to add an Android app. You need to put your package name here. And you see, this is our package name. And you cannot change it again. So make sure that you have put it the correct package name. So I'm going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to select the nickname like test app and then i need to put the sha1 key and to get the sha1 key i'm going to copy and paste this line on my cmd let's open the cmd This is our command prompt. Actually, we need to go to the uh, folder where we have installed Java. Then we need to paste that line. So I'm going to find it program files. Sorry, I have installed Java here. This is our Java JDK. JRE. Bin. And then I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to redirect to that link and again i'm going to copy it and paste it and you see this is the sha1 of my computer i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it here and then i'm going to register it don't worry I will put this link in the description of the video so that you can easily use this command and you see this is our app let's click continue and then finish and you see this is the test step go to settings and this is the google services.json file let's click it and you see this is the file let's copy it 
and this is our project go to app and then paste it and we need to overwrite it so our existing google services dot json file is overwritten by our new app and we do not need this one this one actually we just need our test app and that is this package name so i am going to delete all of the others and you see this is our grammar app that means this is the app and you see i have registered my app and then we need to modify the app and go to project level build the dot cradle this is the build dot cradle of app level and this is the project level build dot cradle and you, we need to add class path actually this command in the dependencies google services and you see i have already included google services in the dependency so we have done it and then we need to go to app level build dot cradle and we need to add this line at the bottom and you see this is our app level build dot cradle and at the bottom i have already included this line so then we need to send push from console so for doing that we need to go to notification and you see i have attached the screenshot and i am going to show you again how can you do it and this is one of my notification i have already sent i am going to duplicate it and what can we say the message text like test notification message label like test message send now and here we can select the app grammar app and this is the advanced option we need to send the custom data and we need to send the title message and url and this is our test title test messages and this is the url and by clicking send messages notification will be started sending so for today that's it thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe